Is it Denise O'Sullivan? It's it's Aoife Colville at the near post, and it goes behind. Wasn't a great ball by Katie, to be fair, and that's an opportunity. You bring the big girls up from the back, obviously, Colwell, Louise Quinn, and you'd expect a better delivery from Katie McCabe there. Choice of opponent tonight, uh, key, according to Vera Pau. 17 places separate these two in the rankings as Iceland are on the attack again, and Grace Maloney comes from goal, and Iceland have got the opening goal off the game. The Irish defence Vidar's Dautier and then again goes back for a centre half partner and that's Vigas Dautier and they bring in Sigurds Dautier who's been the Iceland captain for 35 games now. Here's the Iceland clap, we're in, we're in <laughs> trouble now Siobhan, <laughs> once that starts. Yeah, people around the continent of Europe of course gearing up for Euro 2020, the Republic not involved. Iceland, though, they will be here. Here comes another dangerous-looking cross. And again, it's bundled in at the back post. Again, poor defending from our... Yeah, with all the experience they have at this kind of level. And again, that's a poor clearance from the keeper. And could they be punished once more as the shot comes in? Just drifts right and wide from... They're, they're good in possession as well, to be fair to them, Siobhan. Yeah, and it's predictable that they're happy enough to build from the back on each occasion. Better, better. Now, Katie McCabe. She has Heather Payne through the middle. Will Katie McCabe go herself? It takes a nick off the defender. But much better. Iceland break once more. It's Bayran's dot here. Gives it to Jensen. But Ireland are back into their shape. Out on this near side, it's Wilhelm Stott here. Has a look up, thought about the shot. The attention was red from Ireland as the shot comes back off the post. And another one comes in, and it's Wilhelm Stott here. See, like the we goal. mentioned throughout the whole first half, just how difficult it was conditions wise with the wind. And we can see even the Icelandic team now they're struggling just to get themselves out and up the pitch as well, which bodes well for the Irish team. But they need to take the initiative now, and particularly the back three, step up and step onto the game. And um, they were far too deep in that first half. Quinn plays the ball to the feet of McCabe. And Ireland have two in the middle to aim for. And Amber Barrett gets a foot on it. And Heather Payne gets a foot on it. And get, get one back. Early in the second half, just what the doctor will have ordered. And Heather Payne obliges with Ireland's opening goal of the evening. Brilliant. Great play down the left-hand side. Katie McCabe picked up a position just inside the left channel that time. Uh, because, as I say, there has been a formation change. Ava Manny now is playing in that left-back, left-wing-back role gets down the line, plays a brilliant ball into the box and Heather Payne, for a lot of the work that she done in that first half she deserves to, an opportunity to fall to her like that because she done a lot of kind of willing running and uh, thankless running really in that first half, so she's been Ireland's best player Amber really unlucky with the volley as well but they should be doing more this Siobhan you know, and especially the second half Connolly with the corner again for Ireland met though by the keeper, not clear as yet second go of it from Diane Caldwell the a keeper. bit better but I, I, I still... We're two years into Vera's reign now. Is it 18 months, two years? I expected a whole lot more. And, and, and maybe that's why we're being critical of them. That's the, the standard they want to be judged at as well because they're looking to qualify for a major tournament. But it wasn't acceptable at all, the first half performance. Neil Fahey tries to play the round for Amber Barrett and it hits the post and it's gone in. And Ireland have got a second goal. Amber Barrett will claim that. It was a ball around the corner from Neil Fahey. Iceland just turned off. And they were punished. It was a great ball by Neve that time, yeah. And just when they're higher up the pitch as well, Amber Mar Marrick, we spoke about her running in behind, makes a good run, timed it this time, and a good finish. But it's frustrating because this is what they should have been doing and all night, really, and it's particularly the second half, Siobhan. But it's a great finish from Amber. Do they have enough time now to maybe get...